because it's 10 30 at night i also need to eat dinner the clippers could still move on from russell westbrook even though russell westbrook just recently picked up his option the report we're hearing from law murray of the athletic while russell westbrook picked up his four million dollar player option for the 24 25 season with the los angeles clippers a source told law murray of the athletic that he may not actually begin the season on the team law murray did not specify whether westbrook is a bio candidate or could be traded Clippers who are navigating and we are who are navigating the free agency of Paul George and James Harden are motivated to stay under the sa- second tax apron of $190 million. Clippers had Westbrook appear in 68 games last season, averaged 11 points and five rebounds in four and a half days in 22 and a half minutes a night. And I don't know. I thought it was pretty wild. And they would want to move on from him because he was really good for them. But I think maybe he wants to move on and he thinks it's easier for him to get traded than to do the full free agency thing. And yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's definitely worth looking for a trade. As I don't know. I know Russell Westbrook was cancerous in the Lakers locker room. So that's not a good situation. But this is year two. So what's crazy is, is he's not been in LA since 2021. He hasn't been a 20 point scorer since his days with the Wizards. What if he wants to go back to Washington? That would be wild. What if he calls up OKC and he's like, let me ride this team. Or calls up Daryl Morey and he's like, let me join the Sixers. Or more he is his boy. Or maybe he goes to Miami and he wants to wants to go to South Beach. There, there's so many options that this man could do. Because I think he is someone who's really good, who has a place in this league still as an off the bench player. I don't know if it's on the Clippers, and I understand that. They need to prioritize. I just don't think... If they want to keep James Harden, I don't think he keep Russell Westbrook. He's also a very interesting guy. He's also a really nice guy, I've heard. Very nice guy. So, for me, I wonder if you're a team looking for a veteran player to come off the bench I really think Miami is the best fit. I think New York's another great fit. Milwaukee. OKC, we already said that one. Dallas would be good. I think Houston would be another one. Philadelphia. I think all those teams are fits for him. Minnesota would be another team that would definitely enjoy having a Russell Westbrook on their team. Maybe a Golden State. After that, I'm trying to think of teams off the dome and becomes a little bit more difficult uh yeah i think that he's someone to keep an eye out for because of his like i said i mean it isn't anything special but he's still been to be he's shown to be is productive i know this past season 11 points 45 percent for the field 27 percent for three five rebounds four and a half assists compared to the year before where i know sample size wise the Lakers numbers weren't as good as the, the Clippers numbers with the Clippers. He was in like 35% of his threes. I think combined for 2022 to 23, he put up 43.6%, 13 and a half points, 31% from three with 31% was his best since DC and DC was his best since the year in 2016 to 17. So for me, I, I look at this and I think, all right, Maybe there's somewhere. I just, the three-point shot's just so gone. It's like not even. It doesn't even work. 